Hey guys, Adam Generelli here for, for Reigns. Uh, been with Reigns the last couple of years now on their pro staff. Uh, they, everybody knows they make really awesome tungsten weights, tungsten drop shot weights, tungsten flipping weights, the heavy flipping weights, anyway, anywhere from, you know, from quarter of an ounce all the way up to an ounce and a half, two ounce weights, whatever you need. They got an awesome uh, selection of, of weights. But they also make great plastics. I don't know if you guys know this, they make a lot of cool plastics. And I've been flipping these around for the last couple of years. And I want to get you guys into these. It's my, my Reigns box here. Got everything nicely organized here. Uh, they come in the cool packaging. Everything's sealed. It's got a little Ziploc baggie to it too. So, you know, when you open them up, it keeps the scent in there. Easy to get to, easy to put, easy to organize. Um, but they, they came out with this a couple years ago. They came out with a craw tube, and I've been using that a lot, catching a lot of smallies on it, flipping, catching largemouth on it, flipping. It's just a cool bait. It's uh, it's four inches. That's the bait right there. I mean, tubes just work everywhere. It's got a couple little flappers on the side. You can pull them off if you don't want to. You know, fishing really clear water, and you're afraid it might uh, shy some of the fish away. This is their. Uh, this is their green pumpkin red color. Nice blue goo imitator there. The baits are hollow, but they got that plastic head, mm -hmm. the, the head solid fused plastic, so you can slip it on the, uh, the hook easily. Now for these, I use the uh, the Trocar series uh, flipping hook that is made for, for tubes. Uh, I forget the name, I think it's a TK 110 or something, but uh, the five aught fits on here really well. And it hooks them good. And uh, you know, these aren't really um, soft plastics, but they're not really hard either. You know, it's a durable plastic, and it just depends on the type of hook you're using. I, I use, when I'm flipping too, I use a lot of Mustad, the 3X uh, Denny Brower flipping hook. And, you know, they all have that little bait keeper on there. And just after a while, a couple fish on a lure, maybe three or four or five, if you're lucky, uh, the bait just wears out. Uh, just from being pulled down and stuff, so you, so you just got to change it out. But you, you you'll catch good numbers of fish on a, on a couple of baits. I mean, you're not going to catch a 50 or 60 bass on one lure. It's just going to get the, it's going to get beat up. But uh, one of their uh, one of the uh, plastics they make is the Range Crawl Tube. And I got a bunch of their stuff here. I just got to go over a couple things here. New bait for them this year is what's called the Sea Pod. It's a creature bait. That they came out with um, that imix, uh, imitates the uh, first type of uh, forage that the bass eats, kind of like a big a big plankton that they eat there. I know Michael Murf Murphy helped design this bait, and I ripped the pinchers off that one. Uh, but it's a it's a cool style bait. It's a little something different. I mean, I've caught fish on it, messing around with it. It's almost like a beaver style lure. You can see that there. This is their four inches or sea pod creature bait. And these tentacles, you can take off if you don't like them. I kind of keep them on sometimes. Sometimes I'll take them off. Uh, the body's a little thicker than the uh, the rain spot punching predator, which I'll get to. But it's the same plastic. Uh, not real hard plastic. Not too soft. Doesn't have any grease on it. It's not slimy. Um, it's all, you know, salt impregnated. It's a really cool style bait. Another bait that, that Reigns has that I've been using a lot is their Punching Predator in the 4 inch model. And uh, just really easy to rig. Uh, comes through the, the cover really well. This is one of my favorite colors. This is that green pumpkin blue color. And uh, just a cool style of bait. It's a slim bait. And it it's, uh, has a little bait keeper slip back in here. It's got the claws on it. It's got the tentacles here. You can you can detach them if you'd like, you know, to get a little more action out of the lure. Uh, it's not a real big bulky lure is what I like about it, and it doesn't um, have a lot of bulk to the to the actual size of the lure. So when you when you're hooking it on your, uh, I throw it on a straight shank, must add three X flipping hook. Um, there's not a lot of plastic that bulks up on it, and you know once again the catch four or five, six fish, maybe off the same one, maybe even more before it gets too tore up. Uh, but it's durable and they're, they're reasonably priced and it's something you guys need to check out. Goes through the cover really well though. Doesn't get hung up, not too bulky, a little more of kind of a 
Not a finesse style flipping bait, but just something a little different for them. That color there is the uh, green pumpkin blue. And this is uh, this is their axe crawl, their four inch axe crawl. I'll throw these around a lot. This is this is more of a bulkier style bait, more of a flapping style. A little bigger profile. This is once again that green pumpkin blue color, really cool color. I mean, really, let me put it up here so you guys can see it. But really, really cool color. Get a lot of bites, and I like dying these pincher chartreuse. Uh, mimics bluegill really well. Crawdads, crayfish, whatever you want to call them. So there you got it. I don't know if you guys knew, but Rains does make plastics. They make a lot of plastic, make a lot of great plastics. They also make a lot of uh, of finesse plastics for smallies. They make a bubble shaker, uh, all kinds of stuff. You can check them out on their on their website, Rains.com. You can probably find them on Tackle Warehouse or all the leading leading bait um, stores online. So check them out. See ya.